KUSI Sports Director Paul Rudy is live at Kearney High today to take us to all the action. Hey, Paul. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Alan. It is going to be a glorious night as we hit the halfway point of the prep pigskin report. We call this the pre-PR affectionately. It's brought to you by the Bill Howe family of companies. Why? Because they know how. Now, I know a lot of people are interested in that battle of unbeatens up north, but we are right here at Kearney High. The Comets undefeated taking on San Diego undefeated in the prep Picks Report Game of the Week. As always, Coach Troy Starr with a state championship ring on his fingers riding shotgun. And Coach, you have some important introductions to make. Please introduce our first guest. I sure do. This is Coach Gray from Kearney High School. Coach, we're going to show a little Billy Preston video. That was 1974, number one song in America. That's the last time Kearney was 6-0. and What's a special <laughs> something something? Nothing from nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, coach, you know what? You got a team that's 6-0. and They're not really used to winning. How do you keep them grounded? Uh, day by day. Uh, we, we got a good group of kids. Um, they focused. I, I mean, everything that we've asked for them from them, they've done for us. They, they, they believe in the system. They're trusting what we say, and they're playing for each other. Fantastic. Uh, coach, could you talk a little bit about the mood at school? Unbelievable. I, I think the mood this week is bigger than homecoming last week. Um, kids, kids is... You know, everybody's in maroon, pink, and white today, and everybody's running around and asking, are we going to win tonight? We're going 7-0. Oh, we got to do it. Um, you know, I got my four-year-old waking me up doing the same thing. Well, you know, uh, we'll have video from Allie Wagner's alarm clock pepper. Allie was on. Uh, right. Corvette Diner was in the, in the gymnasium today. But one of the big reasons for your success is the man sitting right to your left, Brenton Bell. Mr. Bell, could you talk a little bit first about the heartache? You've been up for Play of the Week twice. <laughs> do you own one of those Play of the Week t-shirts yet? Well, it was a great play, so I think uh, all around it's just, I think it's fair. Well, we're going to look at some of the video. Uh, tell me, when you are, when you get nominated for something like this, are you aware of it? Uh, yeah, I'm aware of it, but I give it all to my online. They they make me look good. Talk a little bit about your running style. Who do you try to model your game after? Uh, I don't really try to model my game after anybody, but I do look up to uh, one of the greats, Barry Sanders. But I don't really try to model myself over anybody. Well, I, I know you guys will have uh, have to get back to it, so uh, we appreciate you stopping by. We should mention you lost out on Play of the Week to, uh, I think we have a graphic up, coming up in the, <laughs> at 545. Look at, uh, I believe, your counterpart, uh, Thomas Marcus. <laughs> 545 is going to be sitting in that very chair. He's going to make his college decision known to, to the entire world. You know where, where it's going to be, right? But don't say it out loud. Yeah, I know. Has he told you? Uh, well, I just have. Superstitions, yeah. All yeah, right, so uh, we'll, I guess we'll find out. I know a lot of college recruiters will be watching by uh, for that. So on behalf of Mr. Bell, Coach Gray, and Troy Starr, that is a quick look at what we have cooking for you so far. We'll have a whole bunch more as we scour the county. Go everywhere. You'll find out exactly what's going on watching right here at KUSI News in the 5 o'clock hour. Back to you guys. You bet. See you.